Trumpet Honeysuckle, Lanicera Semper Virens. Lanicera Semper Virens. Uh, trumpet Honeysuckle looks very similar in, to our native honeysuckles here in northern Indiana. It is native to southeastern United States and eastern United States, um, but over here it's inventive. Uh, sold oftentimes in the nursery trade as a native honeysuckle, um, but up here it's it's not. It is a beautiful honeysuckle though. It has this twining, um, not quite shrub-like habit, as you can see here. It's kind of messy, leggy. Uh, and that's, that's also similar to some of our other native honeysuckles, uh, which we'll talk about here in a second. Um, it has this terminal inflorescence, as you can see here, this terminal, so it's at the end, this terminal inflorescence, um, which is just the flower in the spike, uh, with five, three to five uh, whorls of flowers. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and then here's the three, if we can see it, one, two, three, three. Uh, and the flowers are tubular. Uh, the flowers are tubular here. And uh, unlike something like um, Japanese honeysuckle, which is uh, often sold sadly as well as invasive non-native honeysuckle too, uh, the flowers in that are going to show up in the axles of the leaves, in the axles of the leaves. So like right here, it, the flowers will pop out here. And here it, again, it's terminal. It's terminal. Um, are some of our native honeysuckles, um, including this one has, uh, um, under the inflorescence, it has these, these conate leaves. Conate is these leaves that have merged together, as you can see here. Uh, they've merged together and formed this plate-like leaf structure. And uh, the stem kind of punches right through. This is a good example if I'm not shading it out. So right here, the stem punches right through it. Uh, otherwise, they're opposite. As you can see with all honeysuckles, it's opposite. Opposite. Um, the leaves... Uh, are going to be hairless, and so here I just pulled this one off already. Um, kind of egg-shaped, a little bit ovate, uh, egg-shaped, and um, what? Oh, it's glaucous on the underside. This waxy coating. See this kind of? So it's got this this um, whitish, grayish underside, and then it has this dark green uh, top surface. Uh, it's hairless again. Um, Something like uh, Linicera dioca, which is one of our native honeysuckles, and it looks similar to this. Uh, there's a subspecies or variety, I forget which one, has, um, has hair on the underside of the leaves. Otherwise, that species is going to have these tubular flowers as well, and they're reddish usually, kind of fade to yellow. But uh, it also has hair in the middle, on the inside of the corolla. Uh, whereas Sempervirens here, this, this trumpet honeysuckle, is hairless all the way, has these long, red, uh, flower, beautiful tubular flowers, and then it has these yellow, look at that yellow, the gorgeous contrasting yellow inside. Look at how beautiful that is, if you can see it here. It's gorgeous. And it's going to be hairless. Uh, another thing is that uh, the stamens, the five stamens, so we have that one um, lady sticking up here, and then the five dudes hanging around, uh, the, the stamens are barely exerted out of the corolla, barely exerted. Something like uh, Linicera reticulata, uh, which is also hairless. It has um, creamy white, yellowish flowers, um, and that's hairless on the whole, on the corolla inside and outside, uh, but that's going to have stamens much more exerted outside of the corolla. Uh, also, that's going to have round leaves, not as egg-shaped. It's going to be more round. We'll do a video on that sometime soon. Uh, what else? Oh, hirsuta, which is a more northern species, Lanicera hirsuta, uh, is going to be hairy on the outside and inside of the, the corolla, as well as on the stems and the leaves, both sides. So what am I missing? Oh, the, the lobes. So, so uh, the lobes don't roll. These five corolla lobes, if you can see here, um, they don't roll back as you would see on something like Dioca or Reticulata. Uh, you can see that they, they don't roll back. So, um, hmm, I think that that's, covers a lot of it. So, Linicera sempervirens, a uh, really cool plant, beautiful plant. 